Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. When working with a curves adjustment layer, click the Auto button to have Photoshop run an auto correction on the image. Option or Alt click on the Auto button in order to access additional auto options. To reset the curve at any time, click the Reset icon. By default, the Curves Modification tool is selected, enabling us to quickly click and drag in the curve to lighten or darken the image. Tapping the arrow keys will reposition the point, and adding the Shift key will move it in larger increments. To click and drag and make changes in the image area, select the Targeted Adjustment tool. To set it at the default, choose Auto Select Targeted Adjustment tool. Then click and drag in the image area in order to make your adjustments. Use the Shift key and the plus or minus key in order to move from one point to another along the curve. Shift click in order to select multiple points at once. Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows will deselect all points. With a point selected, tap the Delete key on Mac or Backspace on Windows to delete it, or hold down the Command key on Mac, Control key on Windows, and click on a point to delete it. You can also just drag a point off the grid area to delete it. To make changes to individual channels, select them from the list or use Option 3, 4, and 5 to select them and make the changes. Use Option 2 or the list to return to the composite image. Use the eyedropper tools to set a black point, a white point, or a neutral gray in the image. When setting black and white points using the input and the output sliders, Hold the Option or the Alt key and drag the slider to preview areas in the image that will be clipped to pure black or pure white. Tap and hold the backslash key in order to toggle the preview, and to toggle the number of grid lines, Option or Alt click in the grid area, or select Curves Display Options to change grid options and more.